Hi everyone, my name is Earth to Jordy, and I am a multi-dimensional artist, healer, and facilitator. Um, I do a lot, and um, currently, as I navigate a lot of the changes of the pandemic, I'm focusing a lot on my um, sonic artistic expressions, as well as um, visual artistic expressions. So I just released the music video to um, my song called Shiren, um, and I'm really excited to share with you all. Um, it was uh, a very beautiful process of creating and collaborating with a divine friend of mine who um, was just on board with uh, getting this story out. So I'm really excited to share it with you. And I actually just got word that another single of mine called Masks was released as well. Um, and that's getting a lot of traction on streaming platforms. And as soon as I heard it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so thankful this is out in the world. Um, a lot of my artistic projects have been um, a little bit slow to be released uh, because of the pandemic and um, I'm just excited when they are so that I can share them with uh, communities like you. I was actually invited to provide uh, vocals for the song called Shiren by um, the divine producer Esper Maas, who's currently in Berlin. Um, and uh, they had a vision about Shiren, who is um, a wounded healer in Greek mythology, someone that um, I knew of uh, just by being interested in astrology and um, mythology and esoteric storytelling. Um, so when they asked me to provide um, the vocals in alignment with telling the story of Chiron or um, Chiron is pronounced in a lot of different um, uh, stories, um, I... I was just on board um, and really went into a portal of um, tapping into the ritual aspect uh, surrounding this divine uh, being. So I'm really excited to um, share some of the medicinal energy that um, how I how I say Chiron um, brings to the process of healing and healing um, deep wounds specifically. So um, yeah, it was a great process. I was in my bed. A lot of the um, vocals that I've done for um, some of the past projects over the, the past few years or so have been um, recorded from my bed, just like me and my mic just going in. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share with you these bed tunes. <laughs> I love storytelling and I really love the process of um, writing a song, whether that be uh, a more structural process, which I am very good at, which I do enjoy, especially if um, somebody that I'm collaborating with has a very specific vision, um, a specific sound, um, tone or genre that they're really exploring. Um, I really love really sitting down and sinking into the story that is being told with the lyrics, with the sounds, with the melody um, that uh, inevitably comes out of me during that process. It's like going to the gym. I really love stretching my muscles in that way, um, uh, expanding my creative muscles, especially with um, something that might be a little bit out of my wheel wheelhouse in terms of um, just what I naturally gravitate to. 
And what I naturally gravitate to is more channeled work. I don't know if there's any mystics or magical people um, in the house, but I am definitely um, a medium, definitely a channel. So, you know, somebody can hit record um, and I just kind of flow on one take. Um, and that's uh, a lot of times how a lot of my songs come through. Um, so if you check me out um, on Spotify and just see my discography, that's how a lot of my um, sonics have been created. So I really do love stretching my muscles in creating a more structural um, uh, sound. Um, and Shiren was a little bit of both. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, just to hear in the comments how um, y'all respond to it. I would really invite someone to um, embrace the spirit of play. Uh, I think that um, as art um, is kind of intertwined with capitalism, there's a lot of uh, seriousness that is um, just at the core of creativity, which is not necessarily a negative thing, but I do um, feel that it can impede the creative process, especially for someone who is uh, new to um, creating, expanding, um, and writing different sounds in that way. So I would invite um, people to really tap into their inner child, um, uh, play around, uh, um, be artistically uh, free with uh, just how you move, how you dress, and, and the time that you spend with yourself. Uh, it's a very freeing process to just say, you know what, I'm just gonna spend this time and see what comes out, um, not even judge it and just um, tap into my intuition and just tap into a spirit of play um, and thankfulness that I have the time to be able to. Uh, so really rely on your inner child and um, just uh, free yourself in the playing um, and the playfulness that can come from, from writing uh, songs and storytelling. You can go to earthtojordy.com um, and I'm Earth to Jordy everywhere. I am currently um, on a uh, social media sabbatical. <laughs> I took and am taking a year off of at least Instagram and TikTok and Twitter um, and am looking forward to interacting with social media in different ways. That being said, I am on YouTube, um, I am on LinkedIn, I am um, on Bandcamp and SoundCloud as well as Spotify. So you could stream on all of those platforms, Earth to Jordy, three words, E-A-R-T-H-T-O-J-O-R-D-I. And um, really dive into the plethora of my work as vast and also um, different that it is. So please, please, please um, check me out. And I am always so very curious to um, know how people receive. So if any of my art um, moves you or inspires you, um, please, please, please let me know um, in the comments or feel free to reach out via my contact page on my website. Well, I hope that you all are having a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you so much to The Table Read for inviting me to share uh, in this way. And I'm excited um, to share again um, the projects that are coming out in the future as well as the projects that um, I talked about today. So I will see you soon. Bye.